Good morning, morning. Saturday, 1st of May. It's uh, morning of the Captain Tom 100 challenge and getting ready to ride to Cambridge. Just having breakfast, then I do my final prep and then gonna hit the road. It's looking like it's gonna take about four and a half hours, maybe close to five. I'm looking forward to it. I'm still excited. We've raised so much money. It's obviously all going to a great cause, Open Palm Charity. So breakfast this morning consists of a bagel, I'm gonna put some jab on it and bowl of porridge, give me a bit of slow release energy. I'm gonna keep it light and then have a banana as well when I'm nearly ready to go. To then top up with some energy gels along the way. It's 5.54 a.m. Last minute checks. Got my light on the front there. Got my two bottles of water. That's about a litre and a half. Got my reflectors. Not as fit as I could be. I'm super excited. Can't wait to see the sunrise. It's nice and quiet. Just gonna have a nice leisurely ride up to Cambridge. Pray for God's protection. Pray that he watches over me and all of the loved ones and everyone in the world at the moment. With everything going on with COVID, we're super lucky to be alive, forever grateful. So yeah, let's do this. Let's hit the road. One more thing I forgot to mention. It's currently three degrees. Got my thermal on. I can't wait for it to warm up a bit, but I'm gonna get cycling so I can get nice and warm. See ya. Warmed up, it's been about five minutes. It's cold outside, but slowly warming up. The thermal's doing me good. And we're coming down to the canal section. Look at that beautiful canal. It's been great. Take a little break, nearly at Broxbourne now. Just gonna put a little bit of air on my tire. It's let out a bit of air. I hope it's not a flat or a puncture. It seems to be holding a shape okay, so we'll see how it goes. Just gonna put some air in. Back on the move, put some air in the tire, and we're moving, we're going. I love this bit. Way to Roxbourne, all the canal boats. It's looking good. I love this first part of the journey. Let's hope it stays this way. You all right? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, my chain came off a second ago. <laughs> Reporting in, quick break, 20K in. Come off the canal now. The roads are quiet, it's a beautiful morning. And yeah, feeling good. Bit nippy at first, hands a little bit cold, but legs are nice and warm, body's nice and warm, and that's what's important. About 15 minutes behind schedule, I had to put some air in a front tire, which was losing a bit. I hope it's not a slow puncture, but we'll see. But yeah, excited. Let's keep going. Oh man, I had to take a detour, look at this. Stanston Abbots. No idea where that is. This is so peaceful. Country roads. And still a village. 
Look at this beautiful country scenery. It's so quiet. This is really nice. 30k into the journey, feeling all right, a little bit tired. Started getting a little bit cramped, so I started walking a little bit, but I'm okay. Took an energy bar, took some energy gels, and gonna start riding again. What a ride. Hardly any cars, hardly any people. I've said hi to like three people along the way. Bank holiday morning. It's nice. I have to say, I wish I did more practice. <laughs> My legs were feeling it, but they're feeling better now. I'm just going to pace myself. Just got under two and a half hours to go. Then we hit Cambridge. It's a nice route though. No cars, no traffic, just country lanes, country paths. It's beautiful. I'll check in in a bit. Look at this madness. How am I supposed to cross this? It's like a lake. Oh wait, there's a path. <laughs> Mad. massively underestimated how cold it would be. My legs are freezing, causing them to cramp up a bit. So I'm just walking to allow them to warm up a bit, take an edge off the wind chill. About two hours from Cambridge. That's if I keep cycling constantly. But we'll make it, we'll persevere, we'll get there. It's tough, it's harder than I thought it would be. It's a nice route, but it's cold. So I'm hoping as the morning progresses, I'll warm up a bit. Hopefully the sun will come about a bit and help me. Whew, check back in soon. Ah, oh, my legs, they're killing me. Got 20 miles to go, about an hour and 45. Just taking a little break. It's mad, it's actually mad. Whew. <clears throat> I'll make it. Oh, it's amazing what the human body can do, you know. Even to get this far, yeah, it's big, it's big. But no matter what, I'll get there. Even if I have to walk the last whatever miles, I will do it because I want to get there. I'm going to get there. Captain Tom, 100, doing it for Open Palm Charity. Yeah, we're doing it. I've got 55 minutes to go. Less than an hour till I hit Cambridge. 12 miles to go. We're getting there, We're gonna power through, just cross the junction at the A505. See you soon. About 35 minutes to go, just taking a little break. Bum is killing me, so <laughs> I thought it would be best to rest it for a little bit and then do a final push. And then, yeah, I'll be in Cambridge very soon. I can't wait. Honestly, I just want a hot, hot shower now and a big meal. I can't wait till this is over, I'm so tired. <laughs> But we move, we get through this. Not long to go. Captain Tom 100 challenge. Let's do this. Here we go. Entering Cambridge. Just go across this roundabout and then I'm there.
tour done. London to Cambridge, completed it. Oh, what a ride. I should have prepared more, but we are where we are. We made it in one piece and all the distance is on Strava. If you don't believe me that I'm here. Quick turnaround though, heading home. I'm gonna put my feet up, a nice long shower and yeah, enjoy the rest of the day. Captain Tom 100 for Open Palm. Brown for co-founder and trustee. Signing out. Thank you so much for all the support. It's been a journey, but yeah, we did it. And all for a good cause. So even better. Peace out. Woo woo!